What's up, fuckers? It's Clorox cocktail time. It looks like Christmas has come early, but then again, who gives a fuck about Christmas? Yeah, so that hooker in the White House got a pussy grabbing by COVID-19, but we all know how hookers are always turning tricks, so this could be just that. Oh, and Melania has COVID too. <laughs> but in all, ser <clears throat> in all seriousness, I'm really worried about President Trump. This is a nightmare. His lovely shade of burnt orange had gone very pale the last time I saw him. I just wish he had been smarter about this. Why did he get tested? If he hadn't gotten tested, he would have been just fine. I thought the key to avoiding COVID was to avoid the most advanced and robust COVID testing in the world. You know, the one that he created for this outstanding country? Why, oh, why did you get tested, Mr. President? God, just stay positive. Please stay positive, okay? But thank God all those suckers and losers at Walter Reed National Military Hospital are there to take care of him and monitor his orange blood cell count. I just hope Trump's attempt at getting rid of affordable health care in this country haven't been successful yet, so when he is no longer in office, he can get help with health care. I know that our wonderful president has been having some financial troubles. God bless him. I think it was truly brave of him to go out of his way to show all of us how not to behave in a global pandemic this entire year and risk getting sick. I genuinely don't want the president of this great nation to pass away like the hundreds of thousands of other Americans under his watch or Melania, especially Melania. Christmas is coming and we need her to provide those blood red nightmare before Christmas trees. Hopefully during her quarantine, she gets the fucking break she deserves. And Baron is so young. He and his father have so much father-son time left ahead of them. I can just imagine them <laughs> smiling together and looking at each other, you know, with joyful eyes through that plexiglass wall. And Baron murmurs, I love you, Daddy, into that phone on the prison wall. I want that for them. Trump deserves to live like that for the rest of his life, don't you think? And more importantly, how will his lovely daughter continue to live a life covered in cashmere without her tax write-off salary from the White House? Or without daddy's help and heartfelt advice on how to cheat on your spouse, your country, your children, and your taxes without getting caught, at least most of the time. Hello, <laughs> think of the white children. And it would just really break my heart if any American mocked President Trump for being ill like he did when Hillary Clinton had pneumonia. It would be so tacky. So just ask yourself, what would Donald do? And then do the opposite of that, okay? Yeah. But I know that he's going to be just fine. The White House plague is no worse than your regular flu or Hillary's pneumonia. I know there are families of at least 209,000 Americans sending him their thoughts and prayers. And there's a get well card being circulated through text and being signed by almost several Americans in this wonderful country. I, however, was unable to sign. I was busy sending my own thoughts and prayers to the Trump family and Kellyanne Kahn <coughs> way. After all, White House physician Sean Connolly told reporters Trump was 72 hours into his diagnosis. So that would mean that even while fighting COVID, our great and strong president still felt well enough to surround himself with unprotected people and host a ceremony in the White House Rose Garden. You know, so he could announce his nominee for the U.S. Supreme Court, Amy Colty Barrett. Bless it. Yeah, he is so dedicated to the country. Not even a highly contagious virus in the middle of a pandemic is going to stop him from surrounding himself with vulnerable people and making sure that Supreme Court justice seat gets filled. We wouldn't want gays having rights or women making choices without a man's permission, would we? Could you imagine? It's so inspiring to see him still maskless, going from room to room, and Walter Reed signing blank pieces of paper with Sharpies. Now, your average American would say at least the Soviet it's Koreans and Chinese used official letterhead for fake bullshit like this, but only smart people know they aren't blank pieces of paper because a smart president writes super duper important documents with invisible ink and decoder pens. Duh. So let's vote for Trump to get well because we as Americans need to come together and make sure he's alive and well so he can get everything he deserves for everything he has done as president and before. Mr. President, may white Jesus wrap you in his healing arms and rid you of this hoax virus. And if there's any healing power left, maybe somebody, somewhere, could do something to protect the rest of us from COVID, heal us when we get sick, and help us get back on our feet. I want everybody to have a great fucking day unless you're not worried about Donald Trump getting absolutely everything that he deserves.